Hello, my name is Anna and I'm going to talk about a chapter developed during my master thesis in environmental technology at IPB, Bragança, Portugal. The name of presentation is Change Trends in Drought Susceptibility, a case study using SPI in Northeast Portugal. The authors are Tomás de Figueiredo, Felicia Fonseca, Fabiana Schutz, Zulimar Hernandez, and me. Clear changes in global climate are being reported, and future climate scenarios keep alerting to relevant change in mean air temperature and in rainfall distribution patterns. Increasing weather conditions variability in recent years prospects higher frequency and severity of extreme events, namely an extension of drought periods. This change in distribution patterns of extreme events like floods, droughts, and fires, contribute to increased soil degradation processes and culminate in the increase of the desertification susceptibility of land areas. The Standardized Precipitation Index, SPI, is a globally used drought index recommended by World Meteorological Organization. The SPI adjusts data from historical rainfall series through a gamma probability distribution, which is then transformed into a standardized Gaussian distribution. Because it is a standardized distribution, it can be applied to dry and humid climate zones. SPI requires only precipitation series input data, and it can be calculated for different response time scales, 1 to 24 months, which are considered advantages of using SPI. According to the categories shown in the table, the average rainfall is expressed at central values, while positive values correspond to higher average rainfall and negative values represent the lower average rainfall, so the drug period classes. Much of Trazos Montes mountain region, northeast Portugal, are dryland during soil degradation processes. Therefore, facing medium to high susceptibility to desertification and drought. This study aims to analyze temporal change trends in the extension of drought periods in northeast Portugal. The standardized precipitation index was computed with monthly precipitation data series made available by SNIR, Sistema Nacional de Informação de Recursos Hídricos, of weather stations that cover the mine climatic domains of the region humid to semi-arid and are considered as reference due to their long-term records, more than 17 years. There are Montezinho, Vinhais, Macedo de Cavaleiros, Malhadas, Alfândega da Fé and Carviçais. SPI response time scales have been set to 1, 3 and 6 months and were obtained for three climatological normal, 1931-1960, 1951-1980, and 1971-2000. The analysis focused on the overlap, overlapped periods, decades of 1951-1960, 1971-1980, with 120 months each, where SPI class frequencies used from which one of the two overlapping normal were compared. As, as, as SPI response time scale increases 1 to 6 months and a more recent climatological normal is considered, the frequencies of dry and wet months in the overlapped periods increased at the expense of the normal month's frequencies. As we increase the time scale of SPI, the frequency of the normal month decreases and the number of months of the extreme classes increases. The distribution of the data series is altered by the increase in the number of extreme events, whether wet or dry. The angular coefficient of the trend line tends to increase with the increasing of the SPI time scale. Analyzing only the drought classes for the stations, 
Frequencies of months with several extreme droughts during the overlapped periods increased as well, more visible for the SPI 3 months time scale and for stations located in semi arid zones. For the same SPI time scale, it is possible to notice that the number of months classified as dry is higher when we use a more recent climatological normal as input data. The frequency distribution of SPI classes change when two distinct climatological normal are used as input data, and it shows a, a trend towards extreme events as the SPI time scale increases and a more recent normal is used. Related to the dry periods, the, analyse, the analysis of overlapping per series reveals a considerable tendency towards droughts of three months duration. The general change trend observed in the study confirms a progressive increase in drought extension and severity in a region already facing desertification threat, as in the case of Nordeast Portugal. Thank you for your attention.